tutorial I have a really fun buttercream cake for you which is perfect for summer now this is a drip cake and is made to look like there's a melted ice cream on the top now, don't forget if you haven't already, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, then you can subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and next to the subscribe button as this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So in order to make our upside down melting ice cream drip cake, I'm first of all starting with my cake. Now I've got a six inch vanilla sponge cake here and this one just measures five inches in height. Now I've covered this in a coating of vanilla buttercream that I've just colored in a light pink color. Now I will put a link in the description below if you wanna see a more detailed video on how I get to this stage and cover my cakes in buttercream. I've had this popped in the fridge so that, that buttercream has firmed up. Now I want to apply another coating over the top and I want it to look like ice cream. Now I'm going to be adding some cherries onto my cake so I thought that we would make this look like cherry ice cream. I've got three bowls of buttercream. Now on one of these I'm going to keep it the light kind of ivory colour. On the next one I'm going to colour this so it's similar to the pink that we've got on the cake already and on the third one I'm going to make this red color now bringing my cake back in i'm going to use my offset spatula and just put that buttercream over the cake but i'm just adding some of that lighter color just in a random pattern and just going in with some of that pink and a very small amount of that red now once you've got those colors all the way around i'm just going to take my smoothing tool and making sure that i keep the bottom edge against my board pull that all the way around pulling through all those colors now once i've been round i'm just going to go in just filling some of those gaps <laughs> with how that's looking. I'm going to take my offset spatula, pulling that buttercream into the center. Now I'm not going to be covering the top of the cake with another layer of buttercream as I will be adding my chocolate drip. Now the next thing to do is work on the ice cream that's going to go on top. So I am going to be creating an ice cream cone but I just want a nice dollop of ice cream. So in this bowl I've just got some off cuts from when I prepared my cake. I'm going to smush these down so we've got a mixture that resembles breadcrumbs. Now you only need enough to create a large ball. Into this I'm going to add a small amount of buttercream and just mix this together. Now all we're trying to do is create the consistency that you'd use for a cake pop and if you're finding that it's not sticking together very well you can just add some more buttercream. So I would just add a small amount at a time until you get a mixture that you can push together and shape. And then I'm going to pull off a large ball. Now this ball is around two and a half inches in diameter and just sits in the hole of my hand. I'm going to bring back in my cake and place this on the top just popping down a small piece of buttercream. I'm then going to go in and just cover this with that same buttercream. So just using different shades so that it resembles that cherry ice cream. Now, the great thing about using buttercream is it really resembles ice cream. So you don't want to be smoothing it out and being really neat. The next thing to do is I'm going to pop this in the fridge just for around 10 to 15 minutes, just for that buttercream to firm up slightly whilst I create the board that it's going to sit on. Now, I want this to look like it's covered in sprinkles just to give it a nice ice cream feel. So I've got some white fondant, which I'm going to use cover the board and I've also got some pastel shades of fondant. Now I'm going to use these to create sprinkles which I'm going to push into the fondant just to make it look like it's a flat pattern. First of all I'm going to take my pastel shades and just roll those out into thin sausages. Use a paddle smoothing tool just to run over the top, which is gonna give you a nice even shape all the way down. Once it's around two to three millimeters in thickness, cut off some small pieces around a centimeter in length and just round off those ends, giving us some giant sprinkle shapes. Now I'm gonna do that to all of my other colors. Once we have a 
selection. I'm going to roll out my white fondant so that it's large enough to cover my drum board. Now I want to leave it so it's slightly thicker than I want my final fondant to be. So I'm going to roll it until it's around half a centimetre in thickness. I'm going to take my different colour sprinkles and just pop those over the surface. Now I'm keeping them close to the edge because the middle is going to be covered with our cake anyway. I can then take my rolling pin and just roll this all the way over the top just pushing those sprinkle shapes into my white fondant. I then want to add a small amount of water just onto the surface of my drum board just to allow that fondant to stick. Smooth that down. I can then take a pizza cutter and just trim off any excess. Now I'm just going to finish this off with a white satin ribbon around the edge, fixing that on with some double sided tape. I can then transfer my cake over onto my board. Okay, so on the top of my cake I'm going to have an upside down ice cream cone. Now you can just use an ordinary ice cream cone, but I'm going to be making my own. So I've got some gum paste, or in this case some Squires floral paste, and I've coloured this in an ivory colour. Now before I roll this out I want to make a template so I've got an A4 sheet of paper. Now I want my cone to be around five inches in length. So I'm just going to add the compass onto the corner of my paper and just create an arc. I could just use a plate to get the arc or just do it freehand. So I've got my template which is a quarter of a circle. I'm going to start by rolling this out around one to two millimeters in thickness. Cut that out. Now on one side I'm going to cut it completely straight and on the other side round it off slightly I want part of the cone to overlap on one side I'm going to use my Dresden tool pulling it away so that it looks like it's made of wafer I'm then going to use the long edge of my smoothing tool just to create a crisscross pattern my template and on one side just pop on a piece of sellotape work that round create a cone shape and on the edge that has the curve flip it over and apply some edible glue and then wrap this around my cone just making sure that it comes up into a nice close point on the end so I'm just going to leave that to dry on top of my paper template just until that gum paste has set okay so once your ice cream cone is dry I'm going to remove the paper cone from the inside now I'm going to be using some edible tint so just to add some color to this so I've got some cream some buttermilk and also a small amount of chocolate and these are just the edible tints by sugar flare I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just mix these colors together just dusting those on just highlighting that texture that we added to the outside I'm just going in with some of that dark brown just where the two sides of our cone comes together and once we're done there we have our ice cream cone now just so that it sticks I'm gonna add some of that buttercream around the edge making sure that I come over so we don't want it to be neat so that we get a border of ice cream on the outside I'm gonna attach that to my cake at an angle and I'm just going around making sure that it's added all the way around. Now in order to create my chocolate drip I've just mixed 200 grams of milk chocolate with 150 grams of boiling double cream just to create a really thin ganache. Now for the drip I'm using some milk chocolate just so it looks like it's the sauce on the ice cream that's melting away. So I'm just mixing those together until all that chocolate has melted and we're left with a nice silky smooth runny mixture. I can then transfer that into a piping bag. I'm just gonna trim off the bottom. Now I only want quite a thin opening. First of all, I'm gonna go all the way over the top of the cake and also up onto that ice cream. I'm gonna use my offset spatula and just smooth that out just run in nice and close to the edge so that we start to get the drips. I'm then gonna hold the bag on the edge of the cake and just apply pressure to create some drips, working my way around the cake. Now, the more pressure you apply, the longer the drip is gonna be. 
Now, once you've worked your way all the way around the cake, before that ganache dries, I'm gonna take some sprinkles. Now, I've just got some of the Love You More Pixie Pearls and the Snowflake Pixie Pearls, which I've mixed with some lilac ones. So we've got some hundreds and thousands. And I'm just gonna place these over the cake. So I'm going to create some cherries that are going to go on the top of our melted ice cream and also just on the board for decoration. So I've got two pieces of fondant, a deep red colour and a green. Now I've also got this tool that just has a cone shape on the end but you can just use a Dresden tool and also some lengths of 18 gauge wire. So I'm going to start by taking my dark red fondant, break off a ball which is around a centimetre and a half in diameter. Now I'm just pushing on the bottom just to slightly taper it in then take my little finger and I just want to push that across the top to create a little dent so we end up with a kind of a heart shape put a small circle in the top and this is going to give us space for our stalk now for the stalk I've got a small ball of the green fondant and my length of wire I'm going to run my fingers just to bend that round slightly and just start tapering that down into a teardrop shape dip the end of my wire into some edible glue push that into the green fondant just working that fondant down the entire length of that wire just thinning it out as it goes down now I've just left the end so around a centimeter and then push the stalk into that hole that we created so there we've got our cherry ready to add onto our cake now on the top of the cake I'm gonna have a single cherry but on the base of the cake I want to have a double cherry so I've got two and I'm just gonna line those up so that those two stalks meet at the top and just add on a small amount of edible glue. So I've got a single cherry that I'm just gonna add onto the side and then I've got my double cherries that I'm gonna add just at the front. I'm gonna stick those ones down just with a bit of edible glue so here we have the finished melted ice cream drip cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will enjoy making your own version of this cake. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Cakes on Lynch YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram just to keep up to date with what I'm up to. And I will put all the links in the description below. So until next time, bye.